Aputa, fala pucaria. Don't ever mention my name, bro, like that, yeah? You want to quote me, quote me properly, yeah? Because when it comes to this cooking thing, man will finish you, yeah? I'm cool with you, but don't try and twist my words. I was not gunning for Turkish. I didn't agree with <laughs> Yo, listen. Listen, guys, we got to talk about this stuff. We got to talk about this stuff. First, first things first, Northside might be upset that I posted a video about his, about reacting to his reaction on what Turkish was saying on AFTV. And he had some things to say. Also, called me out over some other things. Plus, there is a video where I expose some hidden arsenal agendas within the fan base. And we're going to talk about all that plus more. But before we go any further, um, Northside, I know it's your thing to call people Pela Kuputa and all these things and say things in Portuguese. But I'll just tell you, you know, two can play that game. I can speak Somali also. So I could say, Neo Sajamata and Nigeri Shekadas. You know, I could do this. You know that, right? I could, I could call you a doctor and I could do all these other things. I could, I could just make fun of you all the time in Somali, but I'm not going to do that. Let's keep it amicable. And let's talk about what you said in your video. But before we go any further, first, let's talk about what I did, exposing some of these arsenal agendas hidden within the fan base. Sometimes they try to get it out in, in daylight. And yesterday I was on Dan Potts' channel and I just went and made... Jez look very silly with one of his takes. Let's take it in. I'll come back to Georgie behind it some game. Well, Odegaard played his best football. So okay. just so you guys know. Aston Villa game. No, 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 no. Just so you guys know, Jez was about to uh, skip by the fact that he said Jorginho is not good enough for Arsenal and start speaking about Zinchenko. So I had to bring him back to the main topic. And this is what ended up happening. Don't don't change. Don't change to Zinchenko. Come back to Jorginho. You said Jorginho. Oh, right. Why? Okay. I'll come back to Jorginho, right? Slow, not good enough for this club. Sorry, it's not based good on what he's cost us, man. He's based cost what? Us. How many games? Tell me, probably three. Name the games. I can tell you Fulham, excuse me, Fulham, Fulham away. You're blaming yeah. Jorginho, yeah, shocking, <laughs> terrible performance. That's a joke, man. Anyways, well, continue. What's cool. the next one? We're not going to agree on that one. We're not going to agree no, on no. that No, no. What's the next game? Uh, Aston Villa. Terrible. Can I just stop you guys there for a second before we go on to the next topic? Just to let you guys know, he mentioned Fulham and Aston Villa. Just so you know, Fulham away, he was on the bench. Aston Villa away, he was on the bench. Fulham at home, he played six minutes. Aston Villa at home, he played 11 minutes. So how did he cost us? those games and then I ask him to clarify and further explain so let me, let, let's continue exposing these agendas did he play I think he played away at Villa I think I'm right as I just showed you he played zero minutes away at Villa in the one nil lost he was on the bench and saying that no he was on the bench mate he never played one minute what are you okay, talking about? Okay, you wrong. Okay, fair play. The guy, I'm sorry, mate, he's not... No, but you're chatting, Jez. You're saying something with no basis, no... no. You're saying an opinion with no valid backing. I'm sorry. Jorginho has had one bad game this season, and that was when he came off the bench and played 45 minutes for his Tottenham. The rest of the games this oh, season, yeah. he's been relatively good. It's for you to come here and say Jorginho's not good enough and base it on your opinion of the player, you don't know more than the manager. Okay. And that is straight facts, ladies and gentlemen. The the game against Aston Villa away, he played zero minutes. The game against Fulham away, he played zero minutes. The game at home versus Villa, he, he played what was it, a total of 11 minutes. And in all four games, he played a total of 17 minutes. And he's calling him a liability in those games. He couldn't even pick out a game where he started. He couldn't even pick out a game outside of the Tottenham game. Just goes to show you that there's an agenda against Arteta. There's an agenda against Jorginho. And we just needed to discuss this because it's starting to get ridiculous. But yeah, um, of course, that was on Dan Potts' channel. You guys can check the link in the description. I'm going to put the link to Dan Potts' channel in the video. Uh, big up, Dan. He always has me on. Now, next, let's go to Northside's video where he tries to cook me over my football takes. And we're going to have a little fun video here discussing this. Don't worry. We have more receipts. Let's go. Bring forth the next top gooner. So if I'm a top gooner, does that make you a bottom gooner? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I, nah, we're not doing we're not doing all these other videos. 
So this is the video of me where I spoke about um, supporting Tottenham to get three points or a point versus Man City. And he seemed very triggered by it. So by that, let's continue. It's no longer in our hands and we can't look back retrospectively to all the drop points that we've had. At this moment in time, we just need to hope and pray that a Premier League rival of ours, a North London rival of ours, Tottenham, can pick up some points. Now, you guys might say, oh, that's embarrassing. How can What's this beat that Ja Rule talking about? Hold up, hold up. Do I look like Ja Rule? I've never been called. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, for, for the youngins that don't know what Ja Rule looks like, there's no way in hell you're telling me I look like Ja Rule. Come on, come on. Really? I look like Ja Rule? Even if I wore glasses, you can't say I look like Ja Rule. That's a madness. One second. Do I look like Ja Rule on a real? Okay, maybe I see it. Maybe I see it. He might be onto something. He might be onto something. Anyways, let's continue. Let's continue. So phase four, you man never told me at the start of the season, oh, phase five is about begging and pleading for Tottenham, yeah, to win the league. Was that all part of Super Mikarteta's plan? Because First of all, nobody's begging Tottenham for anything. We're just, we're just hoping that they can get Man City to drop points as nobody else has been able to. And we would need somebody to get Man City to drop points in order for us to win the league. We did the same versus Brighton, same versus Wolves, same versus Fulham. Unfortunately, none of those teams picked up points versus Man City. Simple as. I don't know why it's difficult for you to understand that. First you told me it's Project Q. Now it's begging, flipping. One second. Begging Tottenham is not a project or a phase. You're just, you're just filibustering and adding words in and adding th things that don't make any connection to just make your point stronger, which it doesn't. It just makes you look silly. Tottenham to win a game. Begging Tottenham, yeah, to do something against our rivals so we can win the Yes, I'm going to want Tottenham to do something against my rivals, Man City, because at this moment in time, Man City is my biggest rival. They're, challenge they're stopping us from winning silverware. That's the most important thing, as you say. But when it comes to... Winning silverware, even if it means another team that you don't like is going to get you that result, you seem to have a problem with that. It just doesn't make sense. In the league, you absolute frauds, bro. I'm not supporting Tottenham. You're not supporting Tottenham to help secure Arsenal the league title. It's weird. In no circumstance, bro. I'm an Arsenal fan and I stay loyal to my club. I if you were loyal to Arsenal, you'd want somebody to pick up points off Man City to win the league. But the math is not adding up for you. My club. I may cuss my club because at times I don't like what my club's doing. I don't like the fact that my club has not become about winning like when I first started supporting it. But I'm not supporting our rivals. I don't care. No one's telling you to support the rivals. We're just saying, you know what? If they get a result, I'll be happy. About nothing. Actually, for the 90 minutes, you want them to do good. So you're basically supporting them for 90 minutes. Bro. This video that put the talking rubbish, bro. The only person talking rubbish is you. Talking rubbish, yeah? Don't worry, yeah? Don't worry, because they're going to keep cooking, because you tried to make a video about me. As if and I'm doing one right now. If I, I was trying to gun for Turkish when I was never gunning. First of all, you might not have been gunning to Turkish, but you're reacting to Turkish's words. And the way that you're speaking, one misconstrued that you are speaking in a manner that is looking like you're targeting him in, the, in, in your words, because who else are you speaking about? When you're doing a reaction to somebody's video and you're calling them a sellout, who are you calling a sellout? The fairy? The tooth fairy? Who is it? The Turkish. I just didn't agree with the point that he made, but you tried to twist it and put 10 seconds. I'm sorry, isn't that what you do? So what I'd said. Don't worry. Let's keep going, nigga. Let's keep going. Man like Dobby. Yeah, the Arsenal Dobby. Don't worry. Don't worry. Master Harry, may I have a sock? Ma this doesn't even make sense. Now he's comparing me to Dobby from, from what? Lord of the Rings? Where, whatever it is. Looking at flipping Dobby. I'm sick and tired of it. This so you're looking like Virgil van Broek. <laughs> What's the difference? Anyways. This is what you look like pleading and begging for Tottenham to get three points for you. Yeah, 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 I've had enough of that. Let's go to the next video. Hey, are you... Let's go to the next video. And while, while we're waiting for that video to load up, I'm just going to say this. I have no problem with Northside. I find his reaction videos funny. And I actually watched the whole video just, uh, just, to, just to 
be able to actually respond to everything that he said. Because he there was two sections where he spoke about me. And I just felt like if he's going to do a reaction video, I think I should reply. So yeah, there you go. Nothing, no hard feelings. Strictly at this point, I have to respond to what you're saying because I disagree with you. And and since we're not going to have it, be able to get on a stream as often, and we're both busy guys, we don't always have time for to get on each other's streams. I thought this would be the best way to respond to, to your accusations and uh, and responses to my videos on Never Foul, on my TikTok, on my YouTube, wherever it is. You you, you have eyes on everything. I'll give you I'll give you credit. You actually watch other people's content, even though you might disagree with them. So respect for that. But yeah, let's continue. Fair enough. Not every single year you're going to be able to. Every single year, one second. Not, not every not every single thing into your team that's negative breaks your team sometimes he's stronger Our, us oh sometimes it makes you stronger we what i said was not everything that makes the uh not every single time you come short does it break your team sometimes it makes you stronger as it's shown not getting top four made a stronger challenge for the league not 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 doing well in the last end of last season falling apart made us stronger this season to go again this season and we played better got more points got more goals got more uh, a better defensive record we have gotten better than last than we were last season but of course That's 20 years without winning in europe yeah but of course they go back to 20 years 50 years 40 years they just want to talk about the past they don't want to talk about where this team is headed in the present moment and how this team has progressed to a level where we have not seen in the recent years. Well, we've had we've never won in Europe apart from the cup winners' cup. And we but that's a relevant point. Why it has nothing to do with my point. We've had twenty years of not winning the Premier League. When are we going to get stronger, Egal? We have gotten stronger almost every year since Arteta's come in, and this season you expected us to win the league. So hence. You believe the team has gotten stronger. So why are you asking me a silly question? Tell me, can you put a time on this timeline? Because apparently... Bro, the timeline is next year we're going to win the league if we don't win it on Sunday miraculously because of West Ham uh, dropping points, which is probably not going to happen. I expect this team to be here next season. You know we're going to be here. You know we're coming. You know this team is still going to be here. But yet you want to continuously talk about things that are irrelevant and try to deter from the real progress that this team has made. If you can't see that this team is one of the best teams in the country, I don't know what to tell you. We're just going to get stronger. Talking rubbish, bro. How is it talking rubbish? We're going to go into the summer transfer window and we're going to strengthen. We're going to get rid of some of the players you don't rate, like Eddie and Ketia, like, uh, like who else? Cedric, like El Nini. You, all these players, you constantly bring up names and say the manager doesn't. Why, does he, why did he give these guys new contracts? But guess what? They're all going to be gone this summer. So based on that alone, you should agree with me that this team is going to get better. What are you talking about? Talking absolute bogaria, bro. What are you talking about? Markale, I'm sorry, 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 i am a better defensive record has has gotten this team the highest goal difference that they've gotten since the Invincibles. We have a team full of players that are rated by majority of uh, teams across across Europe. And Saliba, one of the best centre backs in this league. We got Kyle Saka, one of the best wingers. Martin Odegaard, one of the best midfielders. Declan Rice, one of the best signings in the season, and one of the best defensive midfielders in the league. And yet, you still want to criticise every single day. It doesn't make sense. You are right now. Yeah, I had enough of this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I think I might do more of these uh, exposing slash discussion type videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm out. Peace.